Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. You know what that means. It is market outlook time. We're going to take a look at this week on FIFA 20 Ultimate Team, talk about the SBCs that are out that are affecting the game, what other content we could see, maybe new objectives, stuff like that, everything related to what's going to happen on the market this week in FIFA 20. So, there's a lot of stuff that has come out in the past couple days. Big time SBCs, Ribery and Usman Dembele crashing market prices, dropping everywhere because people are selling what they have to buy these cards, to craft these cards, whatever it may be. And now we have these upgrade SBCs out. And this page, this page right here on SBCs tells you what a lot of people are going to be doing this week on FIFA Ultimate Team. They're going to be crafting Dembele, Ribéry, if they haven't already done them, and they're also going to be crafting Prime Icon upgrades because these upgrades right here, especially the 85 to 92, I think are very craftable and good value. You can go from Bronze Pack method all the way up to these, these cards. Now, non-rares and rares are kind of expensive, so I'll talk about that. I would expect those to drop a little bit later on this week, but the most important thing to keep in your mind is that people are completely liquidating their clubs right now in FIFA Ultimate Team, doing these upgrade SBCs to craft whatever packs and whatever SBCs that they're trying to do, this is the type of SBCs that come out and people just rinse everything, right? They just rinse everything. And what that means is there's probably some people falling off the game because they rinse everything, they have nothing left, and they're just done with FIFA. But what this also means from an EA standpoint, and what I'm thinking about is these packs are out for six days. Um, maybe we have something that is coming after these packs that are set out to try to drain people of their, their clubs, right? They look like as if they're to help us, but they're really set there to drain our clubs and then probably more big SBCs are coming even later after this. I don't think the summer heat content is gonna stop. I really don't think it's gonna stop. They've gone strong for the past like two and a half weeks, almost three weeks now, and I don't think it's gonna stop. I think they're gonna keep going with solid content, but since they keep going with solid content, there's still people playing this game there's still cards that move up and down in price, more down than up, but there's a lot of coins still to be made on this market. I'm going to go through all stages of the market today, uh, and the first thing I want to talk about are some buys that you might be able to make uh, tonight. It is uh, Monday morning or Sunday night, wherever you're at when I'm recording this, and I'm seeing a lot of weekend league sell-off. Lala at 450 is very intriguing to me. I mean, this guy's probably going to bounce right back up. I know we have the Mbabu objective, but the meta and the popularity around French cards right now in FIFA is insane. All the SBCs that we've had, um, I would seri I'm would i really looking at some of these French cards. If you, a lot of the cards that I'm looking at are icons and they're French uh, because so many people right now are rocking Usman Dembele, Ribéry, Saint Maximin. We just had a bunch of French cards that were released last week via SBC, via Objective with Ferland Mendy, uh, with Ndombele. Um, who else? There's, there's a couple. Oh, uh, there's another card. I think I'm forgetting who it is, but uh, a lot of French cards. Oh, Kempembe and Sar. That's who I'm forgetting about. A lot of French links and a lot of La Liga links this week, I think are going to be uh, decent to invest in. And you want to do that sooner rather than later. I'm really watching this De Young card. If I could get him for like 570, 580, I will. I like Suarez. I like Ter Stegen. Um, and I think a lot of the stuff that is La Liga, that is French, Brazilian, uh, and some icons as well is going to rise up in the first couple days of this week um, as long as the content isn't insane, right? If we have content the first couple days this week that is insane, a lot of SBCs that are going to make people want to go and spend more coins on fodder. Yes, we could have a party bag SBC. That is the one SBC this week that I could see causing some market movements again. But those party bags have been coming out a little bit in the midweek time. So at least for Monday and Tuesday, I think you're going to see the prices on maybe some of these TOTS cards and maybe some of these um, icons that are French that are very linkable that a lot of people want to use. Even some other cards in this game. Uh, I think you will see those trickle up. So if you're watching the market right now and it's early Monday, go look across the market for some cheap team of the season cards um, with French links or just meta cards in general. Like this Marquinhos being 152K. This guy was 200K before Kempembe came out. That's an, a 10K undercut according to Footbin. But if this card is actually still there, uh, I'm going to have to check this really fast because that is, that's just too cheap because a lot of times you can buy things on Sunday night, Monday morning, and then sell them 
yeah, later in the week. It's almost like a Thursday flip that you buy kind of early, I guess, um, because um, a lot of cards just get sold off on Sundays, and that's just kind of the weekly fluctuation of these. Okay, Marquinhos isn't actually 152K. He's actually like 170 uh, on the console right now, what I'm seeing. So that was not an actual deal. But you're going to find some low prices, right? Lala at 450 is pr uh, pretty low because considering he was 500,000 coins this weekend and more people are going to need French links later on this week. Uh, speaking of La Liga cards as well, I do think these will do pretty well. Suarez, De Young, Carvajal. And Benzema being my favorites, I guess, with maybe Ter Stegen as well. Some of the goalkeepers are down because of the objective Pope card that is out. And I don't feel like that's really a good, like, I don't think people are going to go from using 95 Ter Stegen to the 93 Pope just because he has five-star skills. Yeah, they might try him out. But Ter Stegen, if people are trying to win games in the weekend league, they're going to use Ter Stegen. But SBC fodder is inflated. A lot of cards are very expensive right now on this game. So if you're somebody who grinds the 5k pack method, if you like to grind the menus, you see a lot of stuff that's been sold on my transfer list, right? This is all from grinding the 5k pack method. It is honestly, depending on your pack luck a little bit, it is very profitable to just sit here and rip 5,000 coin packs. I pack so many like consumable cards, camera center forwards that sell for 5k, packed a hunter, packed, um, a bunch of rare gold cards and all of these non rares. The reason why this is working really well right now is because all of these non rares uh, sell for like a thousand coins because of the 85 to 92 SBC. Now, right now, I just opened this pack and squad battles rewards just came out. So, probably this stuff is getting hit with supply on the market a little bit. Uh, but a lot of these cards are kind of expensive and people are doing SBCs and they're doing these upgrades. So, it is decently profitable to do the 5K pack method especially with all the cards that are in packs uh, right now, considering all of the batch two cards that are in packs uh, this week. So this is something you can kind of just sit here and do. I'll open like two right now, see if we get anything. Uh, that first pack we didn't make money on, but we have a rare player here, which is big, because that means it could be like an 81 or an 82 that is inflated. And it's 82 Delaney. So this is, we just picked up what, 4K, 3K? It's a 3,000 coin car right now. That's a dub. 3,000 coins right there. I paid 5K for the pack. Um, if I can get 1,000 for each of these two gold cards, I made my money back. Looks like I can do. Uh, and then whatever else like in the pack is just icing on the cake, man. So a lot of these packs you can break even on a lot of the time. So you can break even pretty often, but then you really make the money when you get the decent pack pull. Like if you pack a discard in form, like an 82 rated inform that's just been put back into packs, you make money off of it. So that's why I have a lot of things selling. Um, I've been messing around with a lot of that stuff tonight. It's pretty fun just to sit there and grind packs. Um, it is also fun to do the SBCs, but I think I'm going to be working on these a little bit later in the week because I feel like the hype's going to die down a little bit for some of this content because people are going to rinse their clubs, maybe not want to buy those cards and do the SBCs from there. But I will be crafting Usman Dembele this week purely from the 85 to 92 and 84 double upgrades uh, and trying to, of course, get some of the high rated cards from the batch two uh, that is out as well. But fodder to me isn't going to look really investable this week, I think, until we do see some drops in price. Like 84s yesterday were like 5,000 coins. And now a lot of my 84s are back up. Uh, Moutinho, I think, is like close to... I think he's close to like 7 or 8k right now. Squad Battle Rewards is probably giving him some supply. Uh, but there are a lot of people buying fodder 7k and that was an undercut. Wow. Boom. Looks like I can sell that for 8k. Just like being on the market right now is honestly very easy. There's a lot of deals and snipes that you can get because there's not a lot of people that are on this game. But still a lot of people that want to do SBCs. So uh, that'd be my advice to you. If you're spending time on this market right now, there's a lot of fluctuations. A lot of open bids are going unbought. Open bids are crazy at this stage in FIFA during the summertime. Uh, and popular players like this and like this Ben Yedder, um, they fluctuate a lot because people are uh, messing around with their teams. 400K for this. Thank you. I will take that any day of the week um, because this guy was 440K this morning. And I'm, French right wings are what people need to link some of their squads together, especially with the new Usman Dembele and Ribéry coming into this game so for this week again for the content i would expect a couple more sbcs today on monday 
either Monday or Tuesday this week, I think we'll get a summer showdown. I think we'll get a summer showdown, and I think we have a couple options here. Based off of the first two summer showdowns, they did Bundesliga first, and then last week they did Premier League with uh, City and Liverpool. This week, I think they're going to do Serie A, and I think it's going to be the Milan Napoli game. I think that game is on Sunday. I think that game is on Sunday the 12th. Uh, Milan Napoli. Yes, that's a pretty big matchup. Also, we have the North London Derby Tottenham versus Arsenal. That is also on Sunday. But there's not really that many games earlier in the week that I would think EA would want to push as a summer showdown matchup. A couple uh, La Liga games, they could do Real Madrid versus Deportivo Alaves. Don't know how much uh, hype that would get as a summer showdown SBC because everybody would probably do the Real Madrid uh, SBC for that one. Um, Barcelona, Real Valladolid, uh, wait, Valladolid. I don't know if that would make it into one. Juventus and Atlanta, possibly. Um, but I feel like it's going to be either Serie A or La Liga this week since we've already had Bundesliga and the Prem. I feel like we'll get one of those two leagues this week for our summer showdown SBC. I might expect that on Monday, maybe a party bag on Tuesday. Uh, I would almost guarantee you that that party bag is going to come out. Could that raise the fodder prices a little bit? Yes. Uh, but what you're probably going to see when the party bag comes out is those non-rares and the rare golds are going to take an uptick in price again because people are going to probably try to go craft upgrades to go do more of those SBCs. So that's what I would expect to see some of this week on the market hopefully we get more objective players as well because we've kind of we're kind of down now we've had bruno we've had mendy for some like long-term grind objectives there's 11 days left in this season so uh just a bit over two weeks left in this season i don't know if we're going to get another like bruno or Furlan mendy type objective in this season with 11 days left i feel like we'll get some sort of objective though this week another summer heat kind of card um, I hope they just keep the content coming at the same pace. New players, there's so many players they could boost with these Summer Heat fan favorites. They just pick cards and they give them better stats, which is fine. Um, and I'm a, I'm a fan of that. But I hope we get more players. Like you guys want Langley. I would love a Langley. That'd be dope. Another French center back, I know. But still, I think that'd be pretty cool to have that card in FIFA. One thing I'm a, I'm a bit scared about. Just a little bit scared. We haven't had any objective or SBC right backs yet until we just got in Babu. But a lot of times what EA likes to do is they will drop an objective. They will have you go grind and get the free player. And then they will drop a um, SBC for an even better player for that same position and sometimes in the same league. So I'm a bit scared about right backs. You know, I love this Lala card is like a, a flipping investment because this Lala bounces around in price all the time and he is the best French right back in this game that people like to use and it makes sense this is the very very good card but he fluctuates he fluctuates around a lot and I'm just a little bit scared they might do a right back SBC this week but you can't plan ahead for that so if it happens it happens we should probably also get some more votes this week I'll be interested to see what kind of votes we get because the last one that we had we had the league on vote which was for Kempembe we had the Serie A vote, which was for Ericsson. We had this last vote was a position change with Dembele, Alan St. Maximin, and Moynier. So I'm wondering if we'll get a league um, voting SBC and vote. Probably like on Tuesday, I think we'll get a vote. Tuesday has been the voting day, I think, for both the last two weeks. So maybe we get either a Premier League or a La Liga vote, which could be pretty interesting based off what cards they want to put in the vote. Again, maybe a Langley, you know. Maybe somebody like a, a Hazard could get in. That could be somebody they put in the vote as well. And that'd be a really interesting vote to see what would happen if they put a Hazard in the vote or um, if they do more of the like new signings. Like somebody was talking to me today. They could do a a new signing one. Like with they could do Werner obviously going to Chelsea. They could do Arthur. They could do Pjanic. They could do a player pick with the new versions of cards because um, in the votes on this weekend where we had to choose between Mornier, St. Maxman, and Dembele. Mornier had his actual Dortmund card was in the game. So it was Mornier, Belgian, and Dortmund. So it wasn't his PSG card. So they are updating those cards still. That'd be kind of cool if we got like the new transfer um, Summer Heat player pick. That'd be kind of neat. Um, I don't know about Werner because he already has a Tots card, but maybe, 
maybe for Arthur and Pjanic because they don't have very high rated cards this year. They could be in that. And then maybe um, somebody, oh, Sané. If Sané got in that vote, that'd be dope. People would probably go nuts for a Sané on Bayern. That would kind of replace the Parasage, but still, I think that'd be a pretty dope card. So yeah, more of the market stuff this week. Honestly, you're going to see just a lot of focus around the, the La Liga and the French cards. Now, a guy like Rio could be interesting this week, and I'm really starting to watch this guy, try to get him at a decent price. I want to buy one of these um, because I think that people getting Pope, they might try to link Pope with a Rio at this stage of the game. A lot of icons are down. They're going to be very tradable and very flippable this week, honestly. There's still hype for this game, and there's there's still a decent amount of hype for this game. A lot of people playing this game, um, and that's going to cause prices to fluctuate up and down. You're going to see... There's going to be profit to be made because of those fluctuations and stuff like that. So um, focus on French this week, honestly. And whatever SPCs come out, we'll be able to trade with some of those. I'm not going to mess with fodder really that much. I really don't think I want to touch it. Uh, I'm going to be more focused on just the stuff that is happening with the SPCs this week um, in terms of what it impacts the market as and not really how it impacts the requirements of what is required to... Um, you know, submit into those SBCs as in fodder because instead of watching fodder mess around too much, we've got these packs right here that we can craft, which is a W and it's cool and it adds some content and some hype to this game at the moment. Bronze players are even inflated right now, but you can do bronze pack method right now and make really good money because of those SBCs requiring only seven gold. So people go and just buy bronzes per position and uh, put them into the squad right there so that's honestly the market outlook this week boys uh a lot of people the only again worry that i have about this game right now is that a lot of people are just kind of weaning off and they're kind of done with the game because they're getting to this stage all of this content has been insane it's been mad it's been awesome but they're just kind of losing coins like my coins have gone down a decent amount i'm still trying to trade and make some coins not really like trading a lot but just trading a little bit making some coins because I kind of have to to keep up with this content. I know a lot of you guys are trying to do that as well. Um, so if you're trying to buy some cards for your teams you, for next weekend, if, if it's not a card that is in packs, I would look at that probably this morning, sooner rather than later. Of course, the only um, drop that you could see on that card later this week is probably a party bag SBC. We could add some fluctuations around those. And then also, if it's a card that is in packs, like this same Maximum's back down to like 820K, this card, I think, still has to go down. Could he pop up during rewards? Absolutely. Rewards this Thursday is going to be interesting with some of these shapes, with not shapeshifters, with foot birthday cards being in packs. The 88 plus pack that we got today, um, that 88 plus pack, there was five rare golds, 88 plus. That pack was such a big hit today. I would not be surprised at all if this 88 plus guaranteed is re-released at some point this week. I think it was out for six days though, so it might not be re-released until next week. But I think that'll be re-released as well as Party Bag SBCs. Some people ask me about a guaranteed Summer Heat SBC. I don't think that would come because this is so recent to this promo. They don't really do like a guaranteed SBC for that promo except for like TOTS most of the time. Um, that seems a bit far-fetched to me with all those cards that are in packs. But I guess, hey, it is kind of possible. So the one thing I want to know from you guys though down below is what are you doing this week? After you grind Pope, after you gr grind and Babu, if you're doing either of these two players, what are you guys going to be doing? Are you going to be grinding the menus? Are you, I mean, there's not as much to grind objective wise. So it kind of feels like, okay, what do I do? Except uh, for gameplay wise, but I know what I'm going to do on the menus. Are, is there even enough hype for you playing this game to grind these upgrades to either do Usman, to do the prime icon upgrade, to do Ribery, or to just grind other player SBCs that are here? Somebody mentioned this in my chat today as well on the live stream. How sick would it be right now if we had Prime Icon SBCs or Moments SBCs to use these upgrade packs to craft? It would be insane and everybody would go for it and it'd be awesome. But unfortunately, we don't have that. We just have the Prime Icon upgrade out for 18 more days as well. So yeah, I really want to know what you guys are up to, what you plan to do this week. I would expect more SBCs, more upgrades, and hopefully more objectives as well. That's a big question mark for this week. I'm really curious about the summer showdown. That should happen today. And maybe another voting SBC on Tuesday or the vote on Tuesday. That SBC coming Thursday. So we'll see what EA drops for content this week. Hopefully they keep it hype because the SBCs lately have gotten more expensive. 
Hopefully they kind of tone that back down to where the SBCs have been before so that this game maintains its hype as we continue to go through the summer heat promo. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the food accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.